welcome back to our channel and thank you for tuning in and thank you for supporting us but if you're new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet please encourage us by doing so so that we can bring you the latest news as they happen and together we can support our great leader Mazin Namdekano, IPOB and Eastern Security Network to make our Biafran dream a reality and put the Fulani Janjawi to shame. He said, The Fulani Emirs of the Northern Nigeria are not happy that Buhari plunged Nigeria into deeper hole because of his stubbornness that has made him to be deaf and dumb and refused to listen. The Fulani Emirs lamented that they want Buhari against kidnapping Mazin Amdekano and bringing him into Nigerian soil because their plan was working until Buhari stubbornly kidnapped Mazin Amdekano and brought him back into Nigeria. And because that was the only thing that exposed the Fulanization and Islamization agenda of the Fulani Janjaweed to the international community. You know, because the international community were earlier deceived with the Fulani Janjaweed narrative that climate change was the reason for insecurity in Nigeria. But after Mazin Amdekanu's kidnap and extraordinary redemption, the world focused their attention on the Fulani Nigerian government atrocities and Fulani terrorists, bandits, became restless as time was running against their promised settlements in Biafra land. You know, according to reports, the former Fulani Emir of Kanu, also a former central bank governor and leader of the Khalifa of Tijania sect in Nigeria, Sanusi Lamidu Sanusi, said that Nigeria is living on extra time. According to him, in 2015, Nigeria was in a deep hole. In 2023, Nigeria will be in an even much deeper hole than in 2015. The challenges facing all those people who are struggling to be president, especially those from the South, according to the former Emir, he said that he hoped they understand that the problems that they are going to face are multiples of problems that we have faced in 2015. That is a warning from a former Fulani Emir to all the unity beggars that are allowing themselves to be deceived by Buhari and his Fulani Nigerian government. Even popular singers in the northern Nigeria are now regretting supporting Buhari because the foreign Fulani terrorists Buhari brought into Nigeria for election rigging and Fulanization agendas are restless since the land Settlement Buhari promised them in Biafra land, Middle Belt, and Southwest regions have not been given to them and their families. So they decided to vent their anger on Hausa and Northern minorities after Eastern Security Network chased them out of Biafra land. The Fulani terrorists are now terrorizing Northern Nigeria because Buhari has failed, according to them, to conquer Biafra for them. 
this Fulani Emias and the Fulani Gingerweed are only being deceptive. They know what they are doing. Forget about the way they are not happy with Buari. The only reason they are not happy with Buari is because they know that Buhari will not be able to deliver the Fulani dream after spending eight years in office. They know he can't. And they are looking for deceptive means to complete that Fulani dream. And one mistake Southerners make in the assumption that Nigeria is already formed. Nigeria is a fraudulent contraption. It's not formed yet. And another mistake is that the Southerners think that Nigeria is settled as a secular state. But the Fulani Janjaweed does not believe in that. It is not the case. The Fulani Janjaweed claimed that the Fulani Jihad in 1804 by the Fulani Jihadis, Uthman and Fodio, was stopped by British colonial masters when Nigeria was colonized by the British government. Then, the Middle Belt soldiers who dominated Nigeria army after the Civil War between 1967 to 1970 acted as a wedge and the Fulani Janjaweed could not continue their jihad. They acted as a wedge. You know, the opportunity now came when Tunubu's alliance with Buhari in 2015 helped Buhari, the chief jihadist, to reenact the Fulani 1904 or 1804 jihad quest. But Mazen Amdekano, IPOB, and Eastern Security Network became a great obstacle for the Fulani Jihadist quest. The Fulani Janjaweed across the Sahel of Africa, they know that if they fail to conquer Biafra, then the Fulani Jihadist quest will also fail. And that is why they are rallying around. They are running around. And because other nations in West Africa that have Fulani population, majority population, Fulanis are, are the majority in those nations, the other tribes have to organize a military coup and remove the Fulani leaders. Because they know what is coming because of what Buhari has been, you know, arranging and having meetings, secret meetings with all the Fulani leaders in West Africa. And that was why he was so excited that the Guinea-Bissau military coup did not succeed. He was happy because that would have destroyed majority of their planned action in Nigeria. The Fulani Jihadis conquest is real and that is what Buhari intend to do now. It is real. You know, and that is why the Fulani Nigerian government is deceiving the southern politicians to be moving around collecting endorsements. You know, collecting endorsements and declaring 
While the Fulani Janjaweed and the Fulani Nigerian government and their caliphates are busy strategizing to keep power to themselves for the next three decades. That is if Nigeria still exists. But they have failed because Biafra must be free. Because Biafra must be restored. And Chuko Kikabiyama has made that possible. And there is nothing the Fulani Janjawi can do about it. Thank you, my brothers and my sisters, for watching this video. And bye-bye for now.